Similar to the way BI and big data differ in their source data, both the granularity and the structure of it, a data lake and a data warehouse share some of those same differences. So in the case of a data warehouse, you're using a relational database, things are very structured. You have tables, you have rows, you have columns, you have schema, and that schema is legislated well in advance and it's very easily tracked because of that. That leads to less flexibility when it comes time to doing the analysis. In the case of a data lake, we have the ability to include more data. We have the ability to bring it in without having to legislate all the structure of it in advance. That gives us a lot more latitude to do different kinds of analyses. On the other hand, because that scenario is more permissive, it can lead to an abuse whereby the data lake really ends up being kind of a parking lot where we throw different data sets without much regard at all for how they're structured. And that leads to what people call a data swamp, where really it's not that we have a more nuanced data repository, we just have a collection point for all kinds of miscellaneous data that's not especially well governed uh, and is not especially usable because of that. So what's really important is to have that data governance in place so that we can have the extra flexibility that a data lake gives us over a data warehouse without it becoming something that uh, is really under the umbrella of anarchy and therefore isn't very usable in an enterprise scenario.